Hey guys, and welcome back to Overblood. Now, I should be recording Tenchu at this point, but I can't stop playing this because this is really, really fun. I am I cannot overstate how much I'm enjoying this. It's cheap, it's cheesy, it's, you know, camp as all can be, but it's, yeah, I'm... I'm very surprised at this game. Uh, so anyway, in the last video, we had an encounter with a monster, decided that we're a little bit moldy, probably fucked. Uh, Millie here is okay. We found out there's some kind of science experiment to prolong humanity and improve immunization and stuff like that. Taken over by the government, given some military research, created some zombies. Uh, profit, I guess, has gone horribly wrong because course it has. Anyway, uh, what's this button? I don't know. Oh, that's water, apparently. I thought it was some gelatinous monster thing. Uh, this is a drain button. Okay. Okay. What's this button? Does this button do anything? Do we have to crouch and crab walk? Nope. Okay. <laughs> but he is going to flip Millie off uh, <laughs> as he walks off. That's fine. Uh, ooh. So you do... This is great. Now we have more bullets. Ah, uh, clip. Magazines. That is not a clip, but okay. Hold 10 bullets each. Okay, can we use it? No? Alright, All right, well, I guess the gun is going to be a thing. Happy with that. I don't know if we can fondle with the trees. We hug the trees. Trees are growing in a place like this. Yeah, well, it sounds like they've been artificially bred. So, you yeah, know. Why are the trees here? Well, I, I don't know, Raz. Could you stop flipping them off, please? Not very nice. They haven't done anything to you. Alright, well, it doesn't look like the trees are going to give us anything. Yeah. Uh, no, can we not? The water is gone. That must be the drain. We can go down here. Let's go, Millie. Yeah, I'm not sure how safe or if this is a good idea, but fuck it, right? What an awful smell. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. So now we're in the uh, sewer section because it isn't a survival game, well, adventure game, without a sewer section. Um, okay. There's no way through here. It's a dead end. Are you sure we can't? The ends are broken. We can pass under. <laughs> There's no way through here. We cannot progress. Uh, now we can. Be careful. It's deep. Okay. It's kind of hard to walk here. Uh, I want to go back. See what was back the other way. Also, that has to be the most shitty and useless uh, camera angle that I've ever seen in a video game. Just saying. No hate. Oh, right. There's actually nothing back here. We're just doing the finger guns. Just doing the finger guns. Alright, well, I mean, I guess that's the only direction we have to go. Well, I mean, that makes things easy. Uh, right. Let's duck. Duck and cover, kids. Duck and cover. Yeah, this is really deep. Oh, God. This is horrendously deep water, and it's also incredibly dark. Just in case that isn't painfully obvious, it's probably very dark for you. It's very dark for me, too, so don't worry about it. Uh, water valve, I guess. Oh, it doesn't, doesn't turn. Must be rusty. Well, we have oil, don't we? Can we use oil? Yes, we can, apparently. Alright. <laughs> I guess we've been carrying that thing around for a while. Doesn't drain the water like I was hoping it would, but 
Do we still we still have the oil container? I guess that's really going to be a thing, huh? Okay. And the door closed behind us because, of course, it did. You know, I I kind of like the fact that enemies in this game are very rare. It gives them that? more weight. Uh, might want to move. Ooh. Millie, stay with me. Oh sh <laughs> shit! Okay, you are dead. Oh fuck! When did I last save it? Oh, you absolute cunt! Oh no! When did we last save it here? Oh, dude. You're really gonna fuck me in the ass like this, huh? Um, where was that? Oh no, 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 no. You don't wanna overwrite, how do we load? Do we have to go? We have to go to the main menu, don't we? Uh, how do we exit? Oh God! Right, let's reset game. Ah, oh, what an absolute penis! I'm hoping we do have a more recent save. Kinda don't think we do. <sighs> Come on, you fucker. Come on. Come on. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, oh, shit. Well, that's just completely ripped the uh, run, hasn't it? Ah, bollocks. Um, right, I guess I'm going to have to play us back up to where we were. What a dick. I mean, instant death moves in a game like this. Ah, I mean, it's my own fault. The game allows you to save wherever you want. But that's really dickish. <laughs> oh, man. Right, okay. Uh, be a second for you, a while for me. Right, and we're back, guys. It's an entirely new day, and uh, I've managed to replay us all the way back up. Uh, I also was using save states to get us back up to where we were because... <laughs> as uh, Jimmy would say, time is linear, and uh, I had quite a few things to do, and I saved over my save state again, so I had to go even further back, and okay, well, uh, some good has come of this, though, um, oh, oh, <laughs> I thought I picked up another clip of bullets. I did not. I pushed select again to my inventory. Uh, yeah, so I actually found another one of these. Uh, in that room, um, uh, adjacent to the clean room where we had the controls, I have been thoroughly searching areas a little bit more, and I found another first aid spray. So, profit, I guess. There was one hidden in that room. Now, we have to try not to die here. This is a water valve. It is a water valve. Oh, yeah, of course. We need to put a gallon of water on it, don't we? There we go. Even though this thing's pretty submerged um, underwater. Not really sure how that works, but hey, whatever. What fucking ever, chief. Right, let's go. Come on, Raz. 
Let's get out of here. We're going to be dropping a save state right here. Because things go a little bit weird here. And I'm not entirely sure what we're meant to do. Right here it is. Instant death mechanics. Do we have to duck? I mean, we only have two choices. We can duck or we can run. I'm going to try ducking. And then the wave should, in theory, just go over the top of us. Millie, stay with Come me. on. Bye. Nope. <laughs> apparently, apparently ducking doesn't work. Okay, so what... What the fuck? What do we have to do here? Uh, Billy, stay with me. Do we have to... Oh, jump. Yeah, th that makes... Oh, there's a thing above us, apparently. <sighs> and none the worse for wear. Okay, I didn't even know there was a hatch above us. Um, yeah, moon logic. Okay, sure. Fine. So, we find ourselves back into a... Ooh. Hey, sir. Ah, oh, we've got a combat mode. Yes! We can kick an ass or two. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, Raz. Kick his ass. Bullets are obviously very ineffective, but punching this dude in the chops repeatedly seems to be the ticket. Nice. So, enemies? Okay. Not really... Okay. I mean, fists are more useful than the gun. Which is interesting. Yeah, man. I, that bloody um, instant death water thing there. You, I never in a million years thought about jumping over it. Because there's a mystery um, hole in the roof. Good, it'll move. Excellent. I guess we're gonna go up. Oh. It's happening again. Hang in there, Raz. I know you can. We're getting moldy. I'm burning up. My arm feels like it's on fire. Be strong, Raz. Be strong. We're getting moldy. Oh, oh no! Another one! Get back, Millie! Oh. Oof. Raz! It's all right, we got this. Stop the elevator. I'll hold it off as long as I can. <laughs> Don't give up, Raz! <laughs> Don't give up, Raz! Raz, now's your chance! Um. See, Raz, you've still got a lot of fight left in you. I wish I was as confident about that as you. <laughs> See? It's getting worse. <laughs> what just happened? Okay. Cool. Zeus. Inquiry. Estimate time until the reactor core goes critical. Approximately 67 minutes until total destruction. That doesn't leave much time to get her out of there. Rescue is problematic. My remote sensors show extensive damage to the facility. We've got to save her before his transformation is complete. When he changes, he'll turn on her just like the others. This subject exhibits increased resiliency. I know. He's the first subject to have a gradual transformation instead of changing instantaneously. True. It is probable that his slow rate of metamorphosis will allow him to survive the transformation. Then he could prove to be our first success. A fully integrated biogenic unit. Your research is on the verge of realization. How ironic. That he must be destroyed anyway. Further study of this subject is warranted. I recommend we retain him. No, no, we must destroy him. Besides, we don't have the facilities anymore to contain him safely. Separating the subject from Dr. Asray may complicate her rescue. I don't want any excuses. I'm only interested in saving her and killing him. Is that clear? Understood. Ooh. Okay, so we are indeed special because we're resistant to the mold. We've got to keep moving, Raz. Are you up for it? Yeah, the pain's passed for now. Let's get going. 
Yeah. It's amazing how he's pulling through. To resist the ARNA virus that normally has an instantaneous transformation period? Well, I suppose I should be pleased after all our work. Wait. She looks like Raz might be our first successful subject. She's evil. Billy? Right, Raz, I'm here. This is no time for daydreaming. Let's go. I'm right with you, Raz. <laughs> Adopt the position. Still, I've got to find a way to clear the virus from his system. I don't care about the project. It's not worth the price of losing him. Aww, how noble. Okay, well, I mean, maybe she is evil, uh, but she has a conscience. I'm pretty sure we were one of the scientists as well. Didn't we hear our voice, or was it just the same voice actor? I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, let's have a quick scoot around, see if there's any items, because apparently... Oh, we can go through this one. Uh, apparently bullets and first aid sprays are a thing. Okay. Uh, so, oh, we got lasers. Another numeric code. Um, I wonder if it's one of the other codes we found, because that code had three. So we've got nine, one, eight, six, one. Password correct. Oh! Function restored. That was one of the codes that we found right at the start of the game. Interesting. <sighs> the beams have been deactivated. So we've still got one code that we found that we haven't used. Okay. Let's go this way first, though. Ooh. Some kind of ah computer area. Let's see what we can find here. Stop flipping the computer Lystra off. Laboratory. Lystra lab. Okay. Lystra laboratory. All right. Is that important? Can we fiddle with this? Nope. I guess we can just keep exploring. Now, are these little seats? Nothing here, or are they little? Boxes. I think they're just seats. Alright, well, let's go check out the couch. That's like a little staff room, I think. Interesting. Just crouch walk. Always oh, got to check down a couch, man. That's where all the good stuff goes. I know when I ever lose something, it's usually down the couch. Or the bed somewhere, you know. Um, Alright, well, I mean... There is a co ah, she can do different things with computers, can't she? Because she knows a lot more of what's going on here. If I'm going to clear the virus from Raz's system, I'm going to have to get him to the Leicester lab. Okay. Then. Then. Um. Thank you. And that's what we'll do, I suppose. So we need to go to the Leicester lab. Wherever the hell that is. Alright, let's go. Nice calming sounds of water back there. What's this way? We need a card key. We have card keys. Nope. Nope, okay. So, we need a card key, but we don't have a card key. Cool. You'd be pretty fucked if you didn't pick that memo up with those passwords on. In fact, you'd be really fucked. Another dead end. We can't go this way. That's awkward. It's the only way. What else can we do? Jump? I don't think I can make it. Well, that's on you. Really? Maybe we can bridge the gap. I'll take a look around, see if I can find something. Okay. Bridge the gap. 
Oh, you... And we haven't saved it for a while. Uh, I didn't think we'd actually fall off the edge. All right, we're mostly back to where we were. Um, let's have a little look. Nothing here. There's got to be more in here, right? I don't know. It just seems a little bit odd that there's absolutely nothing here. Nothing dropped under any of these tables. I'm not buying it. Nothing here. Uh, maybe not, I guess. No, maybe not then. I don't know. Right, so. Oh, there's a huge cave. Why is there such a huge cave here? Maybe we'll find out later, huh? All right, well, we missed that before. I swear there's got to be something here. Oh, a clip of bullets. A magazine, I believe the game means. Uh, cool. There has to be stuff. I was gonna say, there had to be stuff here. Is there like a first aid spray as well? I'm not really sure where you'd use those first aid sprays because like, unless we ever get into a situation where we're fighting multiple enemies, I can't really see it being a thing. Uh, maybe that's about it then. Okay. So we found some bullets. Which is cool. Uh, yeah, that satisfied my curiosity. And if we do this again, I don't know if searching these things is actually, like, important. Do we need to search this stuff? Like looking out the window then and noticing the cave, is that required? If I'm going to clear the virus from Raz's system, I'm going to have to get him to the Leicester lab. Okay. Now I think we're back to where we were. Oh, hang on, no, we're not, are we? Fuck, yeah. We fell down the hole. Uh, I remember now. We fell down the fucking hole. I was trying, I totally forgot how we actually died. I was like, oh yeah, fell down a fucking hole. It wasn't anything to do with an enemy. Because, you know, uh, came down with a touch of the tards. I mean, I genuinely didn't think that we could fall down it, to be fair. Like, the save state. Okay. Right. Have to make... I'll have to make a running jump. Are you fucking serious? Oh, what could go wrong here? What could go wrong here? <gasps> that could go wrong. Oh, man. Right. Okay. 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 Um, Raz, are you sure we need to make a running jump? Are you positive? Up oh, the... Fuck. I. Uh. Uh. uh I. Uh, I think we started to fall. Like, we actually started to fall. And then the game, I don't know, took pity on my pain and decided to just give it to us. Okay, so we need to find something to. Oh. Hello. I guess there are enemies in this game then. Ooh. Like, more often than not, you know. We've seen, like, one or two. And now there seem to be, like, you know, three odd hours into the game, we're getting enemies reliably. Which is fine. I don't mind. I mean, these enemies are kind of a joke. And I think we get our health back, like, pretty much. Oh, God. It's fucking yeeted me across the wall. Or across the hall, I should say. It's like backhanded me. Pimp slap. Right, let's just kick his ass. Alright. See, the thing is, like, do we get our health back now? Are we good again? I'm not really sure. Right, so I think we came in this door. This camera angle is literally doing us no favours whatsoever. So, let's get a perspective from behind us. 
Right, let's start here. Um, R388, I guess. It's destroyed. Of course it's destroyed. I don't know what I was expecting, really. It's locked from the other side. Oh god, this camera! Good lord. Locked from the other side. Nothing there. These, like... What's that there? 12, 34, 5, 6. Oh, they're the different cells, I guess. Alright, interesting bit of detail there. Yeah, I'm kind of enjoying these combat encounters, actually. Regarding the counterfeit project. Counterfeit project? Letter of protest. It is my deep concern that the National Defense Committee is asserting intolerable pressure on the Leicester Laboratory to redirect our research away from peaceful aims by introducing the ARNA virus into the systems of our cloned subjects. Ooh. Although evidence suggests the subjects will develop enhanced sensory skills, memory deletion will render the subjects virtual slaves. The only logical application would be to create mindlessly obedient soldiers. Memory deletion? I must protest the involvement of the Defense Committee with the Leicester Laboratories on this project. Our goals have always been peaceful. Promoting proactive natural genetic advances to help fight disease, enhance stamina and strength, and accelerating the natural development of the human species. Allowing the military to hijack our work would be short-sighted and dangerous. It must not happen. So we're a clone? Accordingly, I am demanding an immediate suspension of the counterfeit project. Signed, Millie Azre, Project Associate Director. Millie wrote this. She's been in on it the whole time. <gasps> no. So we're a clone that's been infected with virus? How could Millie have written this? I know! The woman that we we barely just fucking met and literally have no prior background knowledge of. How could she betray us like that? Terrible. I don't know how you're ever going to get over it, Raz. I'm sorry, brother. First Peepo, now Millie. <sighs> Life sucks sometimes, you know. Anyway guys, uh, this video is very fragmented and going to need a lot of stitching to make sense. I'm not even sure because it's been recorded over two days how long it's going to be. So uh, I'm going to leave it here. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I, yeah, this game, man, this game got a lot of bad stick. Uh, I was, I've read some reviews of it and I've wa I actually watched a video when this game first was uh, suggested by Jimmy and oh boy, the reviewer did not like it at all. But I don't know, maybe it's because I grew up with these games. I'm a little bit more forgiving. I don't know, but eh, I can't wait to play some more. So, anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, until next time.